Scribus allows you to create publications. What we have opened is a simple sign with a picture box, a text box, and a line. Before you insert a picture, you have to create a picture box with this tool. Then you double click on the box to link the image. Inside the properties palette for the image, you can define the picture box size, location, as well as the size the picture is linked. By default, the picture is viewed at 100%. To best fit the image in the box, choose scale to frame size. Before you type in text, you have to insert a text box with this tool. Then you double click on the text to begin typing. In the text palette, you can adjust the font, size, style, and something that can't be done in a word processor called kerning. Kerning allows you to adjust the spacing between letters and between lines of text. You can also adjust the height or length of individual letters. Use this tool to create a line. In the line palette, you can adjust the angle, size type, and whether the line has arrows or dots at its ends. Scribus also allows you to create multi-page publications like magazines or books. Go to Windows and arrange pages to bring up the Pages palette. Double click on Normal to bring up the Master page. Master page allows you to add repeated items such as page numbers and titles to your publication. Go back and choose Double Sided and First Page on left. To insert a page, go to Page and insert. You need to have a ghost script installed if you want to save as a PDF. An alternative to ghost script would be to print to PDF. Download and install Primal PDF before you do that. This concludes our demonstration on Scribus.